Graduate medical education is incredibly important for Lima for a whole variety of reasons and I think it really goes back to what our ministry and our mission statement is and how do we serve our community, how do we take care of the health care needs of the people that we serve and help improve the community as a whole. And one of the ways that we can do that is graduate medical education and it ties directly into so many of those attributes that we're looking to accomplish. As you begin GME programs and hospitals that have GME programs, uh, the literature would clearly suggest that not only does patient care get better, but the quality and safety of the patient care also get better. Physicians who are teaching have to stay up to date. Uh, they're, pre they're being basically pressured by their students, um, but with questions, etc. So they're uh, constantly relearning and learning the latest and greatest in evidence-based medicine. So they've taken two sets of boards, so this board step one and step two, and now they're gonna, they've chosen which field they're going to specialize in. So the ones coming um, in the family medicine residency want to be excellent outpatient physicians. They'll also take care of the inpatient um, as well. So we're really hoping to have um, this beautiful building that we can call home um, and the residents will, will each have space there dedicated for our residents um, to learn as well. So we're hoping for a nice amphitheater, some sim lab space, several different bays, and some nice beautiful mannequins that can come in and teach the residents things that maybe we haven't seen yet at St. Rita's and if they've seen it in the simulation lab first, um, it's way easier and they have more confidence. The patients will have more confidence in them too because they've already seen it, they've already done it um, in the simulation lab. This is going to be a, a vast learning environment where our, our residents can network with one another and improve their learning skills. Uh, they'll be able to develop their procedural skills. Uh, the center that we propose actually has a, a floor that is dedicated to research where we can actually push the boundaries of medicine both locally and nationally and perhaps even internationally from Lima, Ohio. This will be an ongoing gift to the community maintaining young, vibrant physicians and a pool of excellent clinicians in our community. Retaining great providers to our community is a major focus area for us. For folks such as myself that were born and raised in the community, we recognize some of those tremendous benefits and those wonderful things that the Lima area community has to offer. But sometimes it takes that initial um, ask to folks and that recruit for folks to come in, live here and experience it. By having a residency program and having residents move here with their friends, families and loved ones, it gives them a chance not only to gain the necessary education for the profession, but it gives them a chance to experience our community the way that we do. And that's an incredible um, motivator to be able to retain folks for many years to come. I decided that I wanted to walk in commute and wanted to be working with the community where I lived and serving those people and ended up coming to work with Mercy Health Bluffton Family Medicine at a brand new practice that they opened in Bluffton and have, have really enjoyed, have really enjoyed that opportunity to get to work with people that I know in a community where I live. I've been involved with recruiting our first class and we just matched with six excellent incoming residents that'll be starting here in June. And I've really enjoyed teaching so far. I've had the opportunity to host a number of medical students at my office from Wright State University and it's been a pleasure to be working with them and I'm excited that we're going to be able to work with even more advanced learners. We want not only to graduate excellent physicians, which we will do, um, with the experience and the team that we have, that, that's almost a given. Um, but we want to develop people who, the minute they graduate, are comfortable and well equipped to step into healthcare leadership and help make our place and our communities better. I'm really excited about this opportunity, especially for us in our business. Last year we placed over 7,000 people to work in the Northwest Ohio region. That means a lot of our people visit many different areas and many different hospitals. Just a few minutes ago I was talking with one of the staff members on how we can educate the community in many different ways from second graders or kindergarten all the way up to college students. And this building is going to be the perfect opportunity to do just that for many different ages. So by bringing this program to Lima, hopefully this is going to have a wonderful impact to Lima Allen County as well as our region. And as the residents come into town, these are people that are going to have families uh, or a spouse and they're going to be coming into town and bringing all their needs with them. And we as a community must be able to meet and fulfill those needs with the ultimate 
end goal that these physicians or residents, when they become full-fledged uh, physicians, will stay in our community. It's not only good for, again, the individual that's going to receive care here, but also for their families, uh, their kids, my kids, my kids' families. It's just a reason to be here and a reason to stay here knowing that the quality of care is going to be nothing like it's been in the past. We invite you to learn more about the GME program. This is a win-win for both the community and the hospital, and we look for your support.